La reina de la salsa, the queen of salsa. There were so many Celia Cruz trademarks. Azúcar, or sugar, was her signature chant. Her outfits and hairstyles, one more outrageous, more outlandish than the next. That fabulous, unforgettable gap tooth smile. And her decades old inseparable relationship with her musician husband, Pedro Knight. Celia Cruz, la guarachera del mundo, was an international music star. American audiences, when they first saw her, she was already a senior person. So with Celia, uh, when American audience saw this elderly woman on stage with these very voluptuous outfits that showed off her zafted, curved body, and then dancing up a storm, <laughs> and these very sensual movements while she's singing at this rapid fire taka 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 pace with words, she was incredible. Celia Cruz was a groundbreaker, one of the first female singers to headline a salsa band, one of the first black Latina women to achieve worldwide recognition. She won seven Grammys, three honorary doctorates, including one from Yale University. Salsa star Johnny Pacheco called her the Ella Fitzgerald of Latin music. One of a kind. There will never be another Celia. I don't think so. And if it's going to take, take about 100 years, she is the queen. I'm one of the greatest human beings ever. A singer who breathed life into old standards. <laughs> and always pushed salsa to its limits. A final trademark, Celia Cruz always said she would die on stage singing. It was the one dream that didn't come true for la gran Celia Cruz. Maria Hinojosa, CNN, New York.